of who it is, man. Mr. iPad Chain here, aka Mr. Made for TV. Made for TV Gecko, man. Look, on my side, man. I want to talk. Can I see? My girl and Rick, the goddamn Camaro. Talking about it wasn't her fault, of course. But it's all good. But anyway, I'm going to tell you about um, a little bit about some day trade. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But one for me, for me to even be able to say that because, like I say, people go to school for this shit. They really go to school for long times and study this shit. People be doing this shit for years. And it's crazy how in today's day and age you can just literally sit at home and watch YouTube videos and, and school yourself. You know what I'm saying? I schooled myself to the whole game. And it's, it's a trip because since I've learned what I've learned, I have yet to take a loss. It's not to say that I'm the best at this shit. Of course I'm not the best. I, I just wish I had a lot more money. That's that's my whole thing. I would, I would be paid right now. I don't know if it's beginner's luck. You know what I'm saying? But um, I, I have yet to take a loss. For one, because I, I, I'm never going to sell for less than what I, what I paid for the shit. You know what I'm saying? And for two, I'm, I, I make sure of that because... I'm going to tell you how, how this works. I wish I had a basketball right here, but I don't have one. Even though my, my boy's got my damn garage messy, but um, bounce the ball, boom, goes high to the highest point. Next drop, boom, down, down, down. down. I don't know. I haven't, I have, I have, uh, haven't ever traded like the real stock market, so I don't know how it works. I'm glad I, I, I my first time trading is this Bitcoin market. Uh, I mean, the, well, yeah, the Bitcoin market basically, but um, because. From what I'm hearing, all the people who, who've traded um, other coin, uh, not coin, I'm sorry, but other stocks, uh, their whole lives or whatever, they said bit, uh, the cryptocurrency is the fastest moving stock that they've ever seen, and I'm I'm glad because I'm not that patient. I don't feel like waiting fucking months and shit to see my, my return. You can literally go to sleep and wake up, and the the whole market has changed, or or. Uh, Less than that. I mean, I've I've went and got some food and came back and everything was crazy. You know what I'm saying on the damn thing. But you set limits. You know what I'm saying for what you want to do. But this is this is what I do. I'm gonna say exactly what I do. It doesn't matter how much the coin is going, how much volume. Well, I don't want to say that. It doesn't matter how much volume they're moving because if they're not moving any volume. Uh, you're gonna put your money into into a coin that you might not ever sell or it's gonna take forever to fucking get sell because they're not moving any volume. But other than that, I mean, I would say. Uh, pick any. Well, what I do, I, I try to pick uh any coin that's that's about uh normally over five. They have to be moving at least five bitcoins, five bitcoins and up, in in the last twenty four hours for me to put my money into it because I want something that that, that goes up and down. You know what I'm saying? For for, for what I'm doing right now, I I would rather the coin be volatile. And it doesn't know where it's going to go. The people don't know where it's going to go. And I was reading some comments when I was talking about the day trading in the Bitcoin and, and the bait and switch and all that shit to pump and dump these other coins just to put my money back in the Bitcoin. And then they kind of made me feel bad. They were saying, they were saying, yeah, it's not a good, uh, it's not a good thing. You shouldn't do that because it's a disrespect to the currency and um, you just want to be real. And I understand that, you know what I'm saying. And I and I started to think about it. You know what I'm saying. With all these companies pump and dump, actually, it's helping Bitcoin because it's, it's getting people to see that man, these altcoins ain't gonna be shit. You know what I'm talking about? But other than that, um, I still kind of feel bad because I, I'm all for the cryptocurrency shit and I'm all for the Bitcoin, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to just do it like that, you know what I'm saying? Take my money out, put it in other coins and then just put it back. I, I really don't want to do it like that, but I'm not rich, you know what I'm saying? If I had a lot more money, I, I probably wouldn't take these opportunities, but the opportunity is here, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't see nothing wrong with me personally to, to take advantage of it, you know, you know what I'm saying? I mean... Shit, I gotta get it how I can. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no. I don't have a job. I don't have a real job. You know what I'm saying? I'm an entertainer. I, I do have my reality show. I do music and shit like that. I mean, I, I have to make do what I can do while, while, while I can. You know what I'm saying? I don't sell no dope. I don't do none of that shit like that. So if it's a legal way for me to get it, man, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on get it. I'm on top of the game. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, back to the day trading shit. You know what I'm saying? What you want to do is, I don't care how long the coin has been out. You know what I'm saying? You go back to the to the little chart. See what their lowest point was ever. Just say it was zero 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 five hundred or whatever. Okay, five hundred is their lowest. And say they've been on there for a month, a week. It don't matter how long they've been on. Then you go to see up what its highest has been. And then you wait wherever it is. Say that say it's, say say you came across a coin because it's at its highest, and that's how you came across it because it was some news about it and it was at its highest. Okay, you don't buy it. You don't put no money in there. If you do, you're gonna lose your shit, man. I'm telling you right now, you're gonna lose your shit. 
But it can potentially go higher than that, but but uh, you don't want to do that. That's not how you play this game. If it's at its highest, you look at where it was. It was at 500, now it's going for 5,000, 10 times what it was at the beginning. Okay. So now you, you sit and wait. What's going to happen is that basketball effect is going to go boom. It bounced high, boop, and it's going to come back almost to 10,000, but it's not. I'm going to say it's going to get back up to about 8,500. To be safe, just say 8,000. So what's going to happen is when it's at 10,000 at, the, at its highest, that's when the people are going to start selling because it's a lot of people who don't know shit. They're going to start buying. Oh, it's, it's going up. I'm going to start buying like a dummy. So all everybody going to start selling, right? It's going to drop back down. The price is going to drop down. When the price goes back down to, I would say, because it's not going to go from 10,000 all, all the way back down. I mean, uh, 5,000 all the way back down. Oh, damn, what did I say? Five or 10,000? I don't know. Just say it was 500, then went to 10,000, I mean, 5,000 highest. It's not going to go back down to 500. It's going to go back down to, uh, like, uh, so I guess I did say 10,000, because I said 8,000. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, let's say it's not going to go back down all the way to 500. It's going to drop back down to about, I would say, 7,000 from that 10,000. You, you want to buy. And these are shorts. You want to buy about about seven thousand because it's going to hit at seven thousand. I would say seven thousand sixty five hundred, and it's going to bounce back up to about nine thousand eighty five hundred to nine thousand. So if you get in at seven, you're going to be able to get out at about eight thousand to nine thousand. And you, you're not trying to make a big big profit, but depending on how much money you put in, you're going to be able to catch that short. You know what I'm saying? It's going to keep going down, 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 all the way back down to towards the five hundred. And then that's when you really want to put your money back into it. When it gets all the way almost to the lowest, because these companies, they don't want their coin to just fall off the map, especially if it's early. You're going to be able to. When it gets closer down to that 500, I won't even say buy at 500. I would say buy at 7. Buy at about 7, and then you sell. Well, don't wait to 10. You buy at about 7, and then 700, and then you sell at about, I would say, 45, 5,500. I buy at seven and be out of there by by fifty five hundred. Forget it. Make the profit and be done. And just sit back. It's gonna go up some. You can be like, damn man, I could have held it to seventy five hundred, eight eight thousand. That's on you. Maybe could drop. It. I I get in and get out. You know what I'm saying? That's a little bit about the day trading shit that I learned though. Just watch that basketball effect. You know what I'm saying? And when you think it's gonna dip, when it's at its highest and it's dip, it's not gonna go all the way back down. You know what I'm saying? It's rare. So. uh you can catch that dip, and then it's going to come back up just a little bit. So you can catch about a $2,000, $2,500 if it's in the $10,000 under range. You can catch about a $2,500 window there. You know what I'm saying? The $3,000 uh, three thousand window, whatever, not $3,000, whatever it is in Bitcoin. Uh, but as far as shorts, like I said, you can catch that little window, and then wait till it goes all the way back down after that. You know what I'm saying? Or you can probably catch a couple shorts depending on how it was, how high it was, like they're doing with Bitcoin right now. I see Bitcoin is at like 200 and something dollars. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, but... It's actually a good thing, and I think all these altcoins are saturating it. So people who just get into the cryptocurrency, they're seeing all these. Other, they're probably putting their money to other co another coin, not 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 really knowing the full thing about Bitcoin, and seeing that these other coins don't have any fucking merchants nowhere to spend these damn coins. So that's why all these coins are gonna be pumping up, man. It's nowhere to spend this shit. All these damn coins you see, man, nowhere to spend that shit, man. Come on, be for real. Man, this is just a little bit, man, on the situation. But you already know what I do, man. Like the video, share the video, tip me if you can. Mr. iPad Chain, I shall holler.